Time for another stock review. This time we're going into space. Intuitive machines. We're going to be looking at the balance sheet, the margins, the money, the uh, the inside trading, the news around the stock. What's going on? We're going to give it a, a profitability score, a solvency score, tell you whether you should be in the stock or not. I mean, that's entirely up to you. We're going to cover it all live on this show right now. So get ready. If it's your very first time here, consider subscribing to the channel uh, and uh, give us a thumbs up. Uh, we do, we review any stock you like, research it, make a full video on it uh, for our members. And you can, you can become a member and we'll do all this for you. Uh, we love doing this. Let's get, let's get straight into it. We're going to start nice and basic first of all, and then we're going to go down the numbers. And uh, I'm also going to give you the link at the end of this for the software uh, that I use, which I believe is the most advanced algorithmic software uh, of the stock. And then you can, it's, it's unbiased, it's honest, it's genuine, it's real. This is my real shares, my real money. I'm live 10 hours a day. I aim to be the most honest person on YouTube TV. That's my aim. And, uh, it's, you know, no one sponsors me to say the stock is good or bad or whatever. We're just presenting you the facts unbiased in a really fair way. And then you decide whether you want to invest in it, including myself for that matter. So let's get straight into uh, intuitive machines. Let's see what it is. We're going to start nice and simple and then we're going to get into the more detail. Okay, as you can see, it IPO'd back here in 2021. So it's quite a new company. So a back test isn't going to work against the S&P. It just, it's just not, has no history. It popped up. It was clearly a SPAC by the looks of things, because uh, we can see around the $10. And it went sideways for a long time. Then it popped up. Some breaking news here took it up to $40. And now we're down at $3. It's a penny stock. Anything under $5 is a penny stock. Let's read some more information. We're starting basic, but we are going to get more detail in a minute. Intuitive Machines operates a space exploration, infrastructure, and services company. It offers space products and services. Show some more. The company was founded by Stephen Altimus, Cam uh, Gaffarian, I hope I pronounced that correctly, and Tim Crane in 2013 and is headquartered in Houston, Texas. Good place to be if you're a space company, right? Just down the road from everybody else, NASA and all the rest of it. The listed name uh, for Luna is Intuitive Machines. As I'm making this video, one of our members is gifting some memberships. How cool is that? Very nice indeed. Uh, Luna Intuitive Machines. Very nice indeed, Bill. Thank you ever so much. Just noticed that someone's gifting some memberships. There we go. Psychote Die has become a member. Fantastic. We'll celebrate these in a minute. Stephen J. Altimus is a CEO. 163 members. Houston, Texas, founded in 2013. Now, if you are going to buy this company, there we go. Another member. Fatso Talk Stocks. Let his membership run out. I can't believe it. And Fortnite Shields. Some re regular members here left. let their memberships um, uh, not renew. I'm sorry that you didn't like the service. <laughs> Bill's just given you a free one. So maintenance requirement, if you are looking to buy this stock, uh, it's on, on margin. It will be a margin maintenance of 100%. In other words, it's regarded as very high risk. The lowest is 25%. The highest is 100%. Anthony Carvalho has just won a membership as well. Fantastic. Thank you, uh, Bill, for doing all that. Market cap, as we can see, this is a very small company. 271 million is the market cap. It is losing money, negative $15. And Fortnite's chilled. Wonderful stuff. Thank you, Bill. Look at that. Fortnite's chilled is negative $15.17. The dividend yield, there isn't a dividend yield, of course. It's a growth stock. Now then, Volume is virtually non-existent. Very small company, very, very new. You want volume on the stock because that way you can you can get in and out of the stock. You can trade it. Um, a stock with very low volume has very low interest. So you've got to be very careful. Now then, as we can see, 
Um, it has been losing money, uh, you, as you can see here, dramatically. And it looks looks like here the stock now is making money, even though the price earnings ratio it says negative fifteen. It says it's making money. Its last earnings it reported uh, a, a profit by the looks of things, but we'll go into some more detail in a minute. And then it fell away a little bit, but again. As I say, this is very basic at the moment. We'll get into the stock in detail in a few moments. This is always the concern, though. Who, who else is buying this stock right now? In a few minutes, we will cover uh, much more detail, the news, the, the website, uh, all the other stuff as well. But right now, we're just going through the basic stuff. Mullen always a worry. If you have a stock that has uh, other investors in Mullen, it's going to be a, it's going to be a very, very volatile stock. Mullen has the worst volatility on the stock market, the worst type of investors. They're all gamblers. It's a, a scam company. I don't even know how it should be, how it can be allowed to be on the stock market, but it is. Uh, Lucid, again, the same. Uh, this is a concern though. One of my favorites, Virgin Galactic is in there. Well, it would be, I guess, because it's a space company, but very different. They're actually a company actually are achieving something as opposed to the others I've just mentioned. Uh, Nicola, very, again, very, very new company, uh, very, very risky company. AMC, the short king. Of course, this is like GameStop. This is awful. You don't ever want to see uh, your company in this company. That makes sense. Your company in this company. You definitely don't want to see this. This is very volatile, very risky. The people that are buying it are uh, a lot of these people are gamblers and all the rest of it. So that's not looking good so far. Let's have a a, a, a brief look now uh, at the uh, the website. We can't do a back test on this stock because it's not it's not been around long enough. So we can't do a uh, a back test against the S and P. So you know, should you buy the S and P or this stock? We can't do that. We can't do a dividend test because there isn't any dividend payout. Anyway, let's have a look at their website. This is their website. You can see it was founded in 2013, even though uh, it IPO'd in 21. All right, it's now a publicly traded company. Uh, from a napkin to the moon. This is their website. Interesting stuff. Gives you a little bit of inf information. Lunar Act Machines is the most uh, NASA awarded commercial lunar program. NASA intu in I'll read that again. Intuitive Machines is the most NASA awarded commercial lunar program. The company has three missions that will deliver NASA and commercial payloads into orbit and on the surface of the moon. Right now, the company, the company's fourth lunar mission is contracted with commercial payloads. All right, this is the company, Lunar Data Services. There we go. Just giving you a little bit of a flavor of, uh, of the website, what it looks like. Space Products, what do they do? Founded by a complete lunar uh, program, our portfolio leverages innovations to provide our customers reliable and cost-effective space products. Uh, what does this say here? Let me just zoom in here. Can I zoom in there? Intuitive Machines um, um, IM1 mission will be the first commercial lunar lander and the first United States spacecraft to land on the moon since Apollo 17 in 1972. Our spacecraft, Nova C, will spearhead this trailblazing mission toward creating a commercial lunar economy, delivering commercial and NASA payloads that will pave the way for sustainable human lunar missions. All right, let's read how it addresses the investor. That's very, very important. Uh, we, open, we open access to the moon for the progress of humanity. Let's have a look what they say uh, to their... Uh, investors. Our mission, let me zoom in to get this nice and clear for you. Our mission, Intuitive Machines, is a diverse, uh, diversified space company focused on space exploration. We supply space products and services to support sustained robotic and human exploration to the moon, Mars and beyond. We believe our products and services offered uh, through four distinct business units, lunar access services, orbital services and lunar data services. Um, and space products and infrastructure will open access to the moon for the progress of humanity. Now, I tell you why I'm interested in this. This is uh, showing some little bells going off on my head here. You can't invest in SpaceX. But as I often say on the show, what you do is you get yourself involved in companies, ancillary companies, that provide 
uh, that, that provide services. Now, this company provides services to NASA, um, but uh, it would be nice to hear if, if they supply SpaceX with anything. If there's anything that SpaceX rely on that they do, this gives you exposure to uh, SpaceX. That's a way you can invest in SpaceX indirectly. Uh, anyway, let's move on now to uh, some news around the company. We'll look at uh, a brief uh, post on their uh, on their um, X account. If you click above my head, I'll, I'll give you the link in a minute and below my X account, and I uh, start to build relationships with different companies, and uh, you will see, um, you know, what I have to say over there and, and, and the conversations I have with uh, such companies. Uh, this was just 20 hours ago. Our Flame Range facility is a unique structure where we do all our engine testing. It consists of 3,800 square foot a reinforced concrete chamber surrounded by 25 foot high uh, perimeter wall that encloses uh, an additional 6,500 square foot yard. There you go. Intuitive machines. All right, that's their latest post there. Just wanted to share that. Some latest news as well. Before we go on to the money side of things, which is uh, most important, of course, if you're an investor. Uh, first, intuitive machines, intuitive machines, lunar lander ready for launch. This was in October the 3rd, so uh, nearly two months ago now, but uh, nevertheless relevant today. Let me zoom in here to make this as clear as possible for you. Okay. Um, Houston and uh, Initiative Machines first lunar lander is complete and ready to ship for a launch next month. As executives say, they are cautiously optimistic about the prospects of a successful landing. The company uh, unveiled its complete Nova Sea lander and its new headquarters uh, here in October the third, a day after completing a pre-ship review that confirmed that the spacecraft is ready to be transported to Kennedy Space Center. Center for launch on Falcon 9 on a mission designated IM1. There we go. So it has a relationship with SpaceX. Exactly what I was saying. If you want to invest in SpaceX, this is a potential for you to be able to do that. The success of SpaceX uh, will make this company obviously more successful, potentially. The launch is scheduled for a six-day period that opens November the 16th uh, from KSC's launch complex 39A. The lander will separate from the upper stage 32 minutes after launch and begin a five-day journey to the moon. A day after going into orbit and around the moon, the spacecraft will attempt a landing at uh, Malaport Crater, about 300 kilometers from the lunar South Pole. We're ready to go. Okay, now I need to find out then. We will find out. We'll do a follow-up to this because this was back, uh, this was back in um, uh, November the 6th. The window opens... Uh, November the 16th. So we want to find out whether this happened or not and how it's affect the stock. So we're going to go, we're going to leave that news and then we're going to come back to that and see if we can do a follow-up. So right now we're going to go into the financials. Okay, very exciting company at the moment, uh, but let's go into the money side of things now. Here we go. Uh, right, so what we got now is uh, the numbers. This is the financial breakdown of the company. Um, we cannot do we cannot do a great deal for intrinsic value because there's some components missing. It's a, a very young company, and we don't have everything that we can plug through our system to generate. And remember, this is this is not biased in any way. This is not uh, this is not like other reviews. Analysts do reviews on stocks because you know they want to uh, they've got their own self interest or whatever. This is running numbers through the machine, uh, the computer, and generating this information. Right. If we look at the best case scenario. Scenario, it's uh, 86% undervalued, base case 67 undervalued, and 70% undervalued at the worst case. All right. Okay. Now then, we need to we we need to be um, very clear of what this actually means. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you here. This is important. 
Lunar, uh, I'm going to call it Lunar, if that makes sense. L-U-N-R's intrinsic value estimate is unreliable, as we've said, as we, as you have just seen. It's unreliable because it's based only on its DCF value and it doesn't use a relative valuation using multiples. Okay, so it looks on paper pretty good. However, it, we don't have all the information to run through the system on this particular stock. So don't take that as read. You got to look at everything else. This is what we, this is what which is why we do these reviews. You can see we've got a lot of information missing here. Okay, fundamental analysis. Uh, Forty nine million is their revenue. We've got no history. We've got no projections. We've got nothing. Just. The revenue, 49 million. Operating income, negative 54.4 million. Net income, 52.9 million. Operating cash flow, 1.9 million, down 79%. And uh, 40 and of the recent range, uh, free cash flow, negative 41.8 million. Let's look at the balance sheet. 103 million on assets, but 422 in liabilities. Balance sheet, not good. However, it can be like that when you first start up, though. Let's look and see what, what debt they've got. Um, it's not showing any debt at the moment, though. It's just showing accounts payable, um, uh, current liabilities, accounts payable, accru accrued, uh, non-current liabilities, uh, and so on. Doesn't show any debt by the looks of things, okay? Other non-current liabilities, there's the balance sheet. Uh, the biggest part is other non-current liabilities. That's all we've got at the moment. I think, uh, I don't think I can get, no, that's as much as I can get there. All right, again, efficiency on the company. What's their moat, their margins? We can't show you any information. There are none. Um, but we can show you the profitability score, 38 uh, out of 100. It's not the worst. It's not the best. Um, but again, we've got negative cash flow, negative ROE, negative ROIC, and negative operating income. On the good side, we have a high Altman Z score and a low DE ratio, um, 46 solvency. So it doesn't have any debt. It's not going, it's not going, it's not going bankrupt anytime soon. Anything under 20, then you start thinking the company, you know, is in real danger. Uh, 46 is okay. It's a new company, hasn't got any debt right now. Let's see how Wall Street uh, look at this. What do they think about it? Well, they see um, a 327% upside on this, uh, on the best case scenario, 164 on the average, and 37% uh, and upside on the lowest. Pretty good from that point of view uh, over the next 12 months. Uh, right. You do need, you now need to uh, do some, uh, some competitive, uh, comparisons, uh, to look at other companies in this sector and see what they're doing. One of my investments here is Rocket Lab. So you can go to Rocket Lab and you can do this yourself. I'll give you the link for this software and you can go and dive and dive deeper into it. And you could go and look and see how it compares to the margins, the balance sheet, uh, and, and see what the relationship is. Look at the news between Rocket Lab and, uh, um, and, and, and Luna and see if they're doing any business together like SpaceX uh, and, and find some correlation there. Do some research there. Inside trading. Well, uh, inside trading, in the last 12 months, Intuitive Machines Insider uh, bought 100 million shares, bought, which is good, and sold 27. Very, very good. I like it. The last transaction was made on February the 21st, 2023 by uh, the Polar Asset Management Partners, 10% owner, um, uh, and uh, who... who uh, who sold 13.8 million. So the last transaction was one of their partners selling uh, the position. However, as you can see, there's been nothing uh, in or out for the last uh, six to nine months. But when we last had um, some, some, uh, some buy-ins, it was 100 million. So this is quite good. This is quite good. That's what you want to see. So we like that from an inside point of view. Um, Let's have a look at the short interest. This is how much downward pressure is placed on the stock. 5.93. There is some short interest. Not excessive, but there is there is some. 
Uh, over 20, it's excessive. GameStop short squeeze at 100%. Let's bear that in mind. I've said that uh, Virgin Galactic has a potential of a short squeeze, not just because it's over 20, because of other things. But uh, this is 5.93. Give you an example, Apple is under 1%. Coca-Cola is under 1%. So, you know, way less than 1%. So to give you an idea, it's it's got some short uh, downward pressure, but not a huge amount. All right, there's no news. There's nothing really going on. I can't report. I'm really the first person to review the stock, it seems. And my review will end up here on this, uh, this page with uh, Alpha Spread. Anyway, let's uh, wrap up my review. Um, this is... Interesting. I like the fact that they don't have any debt. Wall Street give it some really good uh, targets and ratings. There is some insider buying from partners. There is uh, there is the SpaceX partnership. We've seen that. I do need to go and find out how that mission mission went because that was scheduled for the 16th of November. So a week or so ago, we want to find out, did it land? Is everything okay? Um, if we look at uh, the stock right now, it's up today 1.69. It has risen 5% on the week. So my, my guess is 8% on the month. My guess is the mission went well. Otherwise, it would have gone the other way, right? So it has risen, but it is down over the last three months. Um, so it's worth continue investigating this one. So for me, it's not a buy right now because I need more information. I'm not a gambler. I'm an investor. So it's worth another look. I want to find out about the relationship with SpaceX. I want to find out about how the, how the mission went. I want to find more on on the on, about the financials, but they've got no debt. Insiders buying. There is short interest. There's, there's always short interest at penny stocks, anything under five dollars. It's not excessive though, uh, and I'd also like to do make some relationships with the company. So I'll reach out to you, the company. I'm talking to you now. I will contact you through uh, your investor relations team, and I'd love to make friends with you on X and Instagram, and let's have a conversation and perhaps join me on the show. Click above my head for all the links. Click above, click down here in the description for the links and you can find uh, my X account where I will share in, in information with you, my newsletter, how you can get uh, intuitive machine, sorry, how you can get alpha spread, our software. All my members get the software um, with a 10% discount lifetime. So you basically get my membership for free, one of my many perks. Everybody else, you can get uh, a free plan as well uh, uh, and other discounts. So please do click above my head or down there for the software and do your own research. Check a bit more into it. I'll put my full uh, alpha spread reviews and other information that I get with Intuitive Machines down here. There's another review. If you are one of my members, I can do you a free review like this, uh, research the stock, uh, continue to put it on my watch list. If when this video comes out, you like it, you watch it and do a super thanks on it, YouTube will promote it because if it's someone gives a super thanks to a video, then they uh, they will uh, promote it. It's, it's called YouTube suggestion because obviously people like the video. So if you like the story, do um, a super thanks under the video and it will promote the video. As always, until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.